I have like family and friends who have continuously support me, encourage me, inspire me. This is part two of shooting a content series of narrative commercials and taking you guys along set to see how we execute on our projects. In this video, you're going to see my thought process as a cinematographer, how I communicate to my crew, in addition to how to work with two directors on set. Day two of Saya, and this is the Lunar New Year project. So day one, we highlighted two talents in terms of their spaces, and now we're in Goji Studios, which is a very unique space. So this is the space that we're gonna be spending the most time in. We have about six hours here today. There's a lot of story here, there's a lot of character, and we're pretty excited in terms of what we're doing here. We're gonna start off this first shot with the FX3 and the 12 mil, and our specialty shots, and then we have a lot of other interesting stuff that we're gonna be doing today. setting the camera up upside down like this and there's a big kiln in the other room and what she's going to be doing is reaching past the camera and putting one of these ceramics inside the kiln so in this situation we're just going to lay this beside um, everything likely you know when you're doing this you want to rig it up and have everything ready to go but because we're such in a tight space we're just going to do it like this so we're on the 12 mil uh, 12 mil might be a little too wide so we're going to have the 20 on standby but this just gives us control and then we can put up a feed for the directors jason and justin and then i can tell adrian and the ac to you know focus on certain things we're going to get that set up we're just getting waiting for keys to get in the other room so we're doing a high dolly in that corner so same setup as we did last time. And then uh, we want to play up on the sunlight that's going to be coming through. So today we are using the Nanlite Pavo Slims. This is the one by one unit. This is our first time using them. Really like it in terms of the build quality and just having a little light like this. There's a V-mount option as well as MPFs. If you have those, I know a lot of people starting out, I still have a bunch of them. And this one is the C, so this is uh, RGB by color, everything you need. And the one thing that I like about this when I saw Jordan setting it up as it's just, already ready to go out of the box. So, bang. Ready to go with the soft box. Right now we're setting up for the establishing shot of the whole piece. So we have Diego set up with a bunch of MCs and then also an MT Pro and then an Aperture B7C. We wanted to add a little accent light to the space in terms of highlighting all the beautiful pieces that we have here. So as Ash comes in and turns on the lights, we have Diego turning on all the lights as well. And then as she goes to her throwing station, we have a Diego throwing that light on as well and then walking through the space. And as we're doing that, we are dollying in. So we're on a 12 mil now. And the reason why we have this whole big setup is because if I didn't, I would see the bottom of the track because the lens is so wide. Big high dolly, just giving you perspective of making the space feel grand. So we are set up with the FX3 and the DJI RS3 Pro. And then I have a tear deck here and then just a battery here. I originally wanted the battery just on the floor, but then I realized all the cables would get like tangled up. And then I'm just using the DJI app. I commonly use this with an Xbox controller even to do like a uh, car rig stuff, but I can control the pan tilt and roll. Jason and Justin wanted her to be in multiple spots and being like multiplied and showing off the space as well, all the things that she does here. So playing with the ceramics, throwing, drawing, sketching and everything like that. So we wanted to show off all those actions in one continuous shot. And usually you do this with a robot, but we don't have a budget to do that. So what I did is I simply turned off the tilt and the roll and then just did the pan. So even if I, you know, go anywhere in this joystick, it's only going to rotate. That means we can stitch this together in post. I already did a test this at home with my partner and it worked out great. There wasn't any really correction, but at the end, I always like to do a clean plate in case our VFX artist or the editor, anybody who's doing it, has the plate to work with in terms of getting everything out. Do you want a clean plate of the whole thing, the whole space? Yeah. Actually, can we do that? No, no, it's a, it's a full sit. It's not even a duck. <laughs> Justin, hold on, look at <laughs> Justin, I can see your hat. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we just wrapped up at our third location. We are now in the fourth location, which is a photo studio. So in this space, we're gonna be highlighting a jewelry artist and designer, and we wanted to make it feel bright and airy to highlight her products and you know match the energy in terms of what the products look like and everything like that. It's a challenging location because we're only dealing with literally one room and we have a bunch of gears, so we're gonna to have to move around a lot of things and get creative in terms of the shooting angles as well as what we can highlight in terms of just a, such a small 
small space. The last location had a lot of varying things that we can do and a lot of interest, and that location told a story. While we're doing in a location that it doesn't necessarily have a story, and we're focusing on our main talent, which is Allie. So we just wrapped the shooting of this project. This is what the majority of our content-based commercial projects look like. We are dealing with multiple locations, multiple talents that we're highlighting, and usually shooting two to three locations a day. In this particular shoot, we had two days, two locations each day, around four to six hours per location. And this was really dependent on the location's availability as well as working with multiple talents. So this was just a look at what our bread and butter and work of Tenfold looks like in terms of the work that we like to do and highlighting stories. This is like the commercial documentary and all these spots are going to be 60 seconds and it goes to show in terms of cutting a spot that's 60 seconds that has a story, you need a lot of time. Six hours or four hours in a location is not a lot of time for us, but this had a lot of pre-production, a lot of planning, and then we actually pre a lot of these locations and that helped us out a bunch in terms of flowing through them and staying on time. Let us know if you enjoyed this style of video where we take you along with everything that we actually do on set. All right, guys, so I entered a contest of work with Temple for the day, <laughs> and holy, isn't an experience. I knew nothing about cameras going into this, and I left with an FX3, and they gave me a free tripod. It lights up. No, 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 that's my <laughs> <laughs>